So guilty plea or not, the Chris Watts story is not over, not by a long shot. Good evening, and thanks for watching Denver 7. I'm Andrew Heath. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Denver 7's Thomas Hoppo is the first reporter to ask Watts' parents their thoughts on his potential life sentence and what they believe really happened to Shanann, Bella, and Celeste. Have you been able to see him? At no, all? no. What, 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 about prison? No, but we got to see him one time. That was that Monday, right before the plea deal. That Monday right night. before the plea deal, and that was it. These are the parents of Chris Watts, the man who pled guilty to killing his pregnant wife, Shanann, and two kids, Bella and Celeste. How did he kill her? How did he say he did it when he snapped? Well, uh, he said he did the same thing that she did to him, that she did to the girls. His parents went into details about the relationship problems Shanann and Chris allegedly had, but more importantly, spoke about the frustrations with his whole plea. Are you guys frustrated with, the, with his attorneys here? Are you guys frustrated with the direction they may have put him through? Yes, I am. I am absolutely frustrated. We contacted his public defender, but they declined to comment. Uh, you guys think he was coerced at all? I don't know. I don't know. He... Uh, I have no idea what the public, to me, that all they wanted to do was just save his life. Just save his life. Well, save his life and, and life in prison, to me, there's no difference. You know, it, it, he's, he's going to die in prison, and, and, and there's no telling what, can be, what, what will be done to him in prison. And I just want him to fight. I want, this plea, I want him to not take this plea deal. I want him to, to plead not guilty to the children. After this interview, the Watts are looking into different legal avenues, even looking at another attorney in Denver to take their son's case. But there's been some reaction about all this from Shanann's family. Are you guys worried about some of the backlash about maybe coming out and speaking on behalf of Chris and what it might, what it might do to your guys' relationship and, you know, speaking out like this to, about a woman who can't defend herself right yeah. now. Well, Shanann, I mean, she was, you have to get to know her to be around her, but that way. Her family's attorney sent us this statement. Their false statements, however hurtful and inaccurate, will never alter the truth about Shanann and will never alter the truth about the crimes committed by their son. Her memory and reputation deserves to be protected and her family is fully prepared to do so. I just want to make sure he's doing the right thing. Yes. I mean, if he does it, if he didn't kill the children, I want him to say so and let them prove it. I spoke to a longtime friend of both Shanann and Chris who saw the interview. Out of respect of the families, he didn't want to do an on-camera interview, but said both families are hurting and just hope for the family's sake that Chris doesn't continue to fight this and go to trial. I didn't want him them just to save his life or to a life in prison. I wanted them to have a defense. You know, there was a defense there. And Watts' sentencing is on Monday, and until then, he could technically withdraw his plea to take the case to trial. However, he would have to show a fair and just hmm. reason. And Thomas, the parents reached out to you because they wanted to tell everybody that their son is not a monster, right? But they also pointed out that they did not have a very good relationship with Shanann, right? Right. Yeah, that was made very clear yeah. in that interview that we did. They did not have a good relationship, they said, from the start. And they understand that the family is hurting right now, Shanann's family. And they just want everything to come out the truth. And they are believing their son, but they are torn as well. Sure. Wow. All right. Thomas, I'll put it Thanks, Thomas. Thank you, Thomas.